Hello, hello, Mark Cashman, Senior Product Manager from Microsoft here to share some exciting news about Microsoft Lists and the new Forms update. There's a lot of new Forms capabilities that have been rolling out, and this video will summarize some of what the team has recently released with a new Getting Started experience, the support of logo and different field types, updated notifications and how you can program the notification experience, and one big exciting one, conditional branching. The team has been hard at work taking feedback. The new forms experience looks great. It's getting more functional. And it's also very performant, working on how reliable and how performant they are. So without further ado, here is a look, a quick tour of the new Microsoft Lists form features. Let's start with seamless creation of forms. You're gonna see a new getting started experience. You can jump right into a form. You don't even have to have a list created. And by creating the form, you actually will create the list. As you dive into creating the form, you'll start to see the list behind the scenes is getting created with the field types that you choose, which includes the ability to now add a logo and additional field types. So if you have an approved or a preferred logo, you can add it to the form. You can see the other new field types that we support, not only the common and standard column types, but now we support things like image, attachments. There's also some new form settings. When you look at the settings on the far right, you can set it to notify you when a form has been submitted. You can also control a little bit about the start date and the end date for when you want the form to be active so that it will automatically close off the form even if people still have the link. And you can control what the message is when it gets submitted and that the message uh, when the form has been closed. And now let's take a look at conditional branching. This is a very exciting way where you can add a lot of interactivity and choice to how you build out your form. So one question can lead to multiple other questions and you build it within your form so that when you get a certain response, things show or don't show. And you'll see it when I show you in the active form after you make your choices of how you want your form to react when people choose certain things. You can also test it out and as you choose either yes or no, Choosing yes exposes other fields here that then you can fill out. And it continues down based on the different selections that you make. You then have different fields that are requested from the person submitting the, the form. When they click submit, just like before, they don't have access to the form, but they have the value of you being able to guide them through different information that you want them to input or not. And that's it for the quick tour the updates to the Microsoft List form experience. There's a lot of things that you could already do, and based on your feedback and things that we've been wanting to do ourselves, there's been a really nice new Microsoft List form update. I hope it gives you a sense of what you can go out and try so that you can collect information like a pro. You can always track our resources at aka.ms slash mslists. You can provide feedback at aka.ms slash feedback slash lists. And to see this in action and everything that Microsoft List does, you can always go to the help and how-to content at aka.ms slash mslists slash help. So try out the new Microsoft List forms experience, especially these latest updates, and let us know what you think.